हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू फ्री बर्ड्स यू एंड वेलकम टू 75 डे आज जनरेटिव ए लर्निंग चैलेंज एंड दिस इज डे 19 एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट हाउ टू डू द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल फाइन ट्यूनिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो विल फाइन ट्यून द डिजिटल बर्ट मॉडल विद द हेल्प ऑफ आई एम डी बी डेटा सेट एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ मास्ट लैंग्वेज मॉडलिंग ओके सो लेट मी फर्स्ट टेल यू वट एग्जैक्टली इज मास्ट लैंग्वेज मॉडलिंग आई अपलोड अ पोस्ट ऑन द लिंकड इन today about on the day 18 where i completely explain what is the mast modeling and how it helps your model to understand the context and the meaning of your uh, text better okay so in mast modeling we do one thing we just uh, try to mast a part of a sentence and then we want our model to predict that part of a sentence so in that way our model can understand the sentence or the whole text meaning better it can also trained to the left to right or the right to left manner as well as we also uh, learned in the lstm or the bidirectional lstm models as well okay so it can learn in that way you can mask like at random places in your complete text and your model is trying to predict those random places okay guys okay so it also has like many kind of uh, uh, advantages it it can help you to un- understand the bidirectional context it can help you to handle the biases it can avoid the data leakage and also it can handle out of vocabulary words because if your vocabulary is a very limited am- amount of words and your model is trying to predict the mask in that way it can understand those words which are not even in your vocabulary okay so in this whole way your complete uh, mask language modeling works okay so now let's go to the code part and i will tell you that how this mask modeling will help you to train this whole uh, digital bird model and fine tune it on the task of imdb so first thing is we just uh, get import the auto model for mask llm and we get the our digital bird model here and we uh get the pre-trained model into the model object here okay and then we can see that it has 67 million number of parameters and the bird has 110 million parameters okay so this is the like smallest version of the bird transformer okay so here here i created a text that is called text this is a great and then there is a mask so our model tries to predict this mask okay and uh, i also add uh, auto tokenizer here and this tokenizer will help you to tokenize your text and i just pass the tokenizer and built tokenizer object okay and then i just tokenize my text and get the probabilities of the all the words which can get ahead okay then i just try to find the index of my mask and for that index i tries to uh, get the uh, logits or the probability of the words that can come in the place of mask and then i get the top 5 words and for those top 5 words these are those five words deal success adventure idea or feat so these can get in the place of that mask okay so in that way your mask language modeling will work okay so now now let's go on a part to load the imdb dataset here i just load with the help of dataset library and it will give you a the data in the form of dictionary here okay it has train test and unsupervised in many way but we need only the train because language mock modeling or the fine tuning can only work in the supervised data sets you need to have a uh, data along with their labels as well okay so here i just get the train data and then yeah, i can show you that how it actually looks this is the review this is the label review label review and label we have the x variable and the y y variable both in this uh, train data set okay and now now we try to build a tokenizer function this is the tokenizer function that can take the text and get the word ids as well along with the attention mask because this uh, imdb data set map function will convert your whole data from the uh, text to the input ids attention mask and along with the word ids as well okay and then and then after that uh, we get to know the what is the max model length 
512 tokens and then the chunk size is 118 we set the chunk size here and on the base of this chunk size we try to uh, pre-process our data to get to the exact data that we need to fine tune our model okay the very first thing is to slicing produces a list of list for each feature for each feature we need the chunks okay for that we just get the uh, three first uh, reviews only and for those reviews this is the length of each of the review and then we concatenate those all the reviews that we got in the tokenized sample because we don't need only a single single word we need the whole sentences there okay so we just concatenate them and their total length is 800 if you just sum this up you will get the 800 number here and then we want to uh, divide those into the same chunk size because as you know if you are trying to train or fine tune a machine learning model or the large language model your chunk size should be similar that uh, so that's why we just uh, uh, cut the whole part into the equal chunks here because in ab above the chunks are not equal but in down the chunks are equal here okay and then we just do the group text the group text will do one thing it will take all your data the concatenated examples we can concatenate above and then it can it can like uh, group those text so so that your data will have the in input ids tension mask word ids along with the labels as well because we need those labels in our training okay so in that way this whole code will work it will just uh, give you the data here okay so you will get to know this that it can uh, break down your data further and you have these three kind of data sets here for the whole data set that you have train test or unsupervised okay okay now you can see this this is our train looks like the input label this is the labels only and then we have to get the data collector library this data collector library will help you to randomly mask those words in your whole text okay if you just see uh, if you just see this we try to randomly mask here as well but these words are not completely masked so we need the more masking as well so for that i just create this whole function here that helps you to randomly mask those words okay it just create the map between the words and the corresponding token indexes because we also know that where each word will be there because we know that we need the index of each word so that our model will be able to understand it better okay so th this code just just works in a that way that it just uh, uh, map each word with their index and then randomly mask each of the word in the data and af after you apply this whole function on the whole data you will get the data looks like this as you just see it has the mask at the random places now your model will try to predict these masks only so that you can get uh, to know the data better and you can get the meaning of the data or context of the data in a better place okay and then we have this train size of the 10 thousands we just break down our whole data train data that that, that we have into the 10 10 thousand uh, buckets okay so it is here we have the 10 thousand train and 1000 test because we just take the uh, one percent of the uh, train data here and this is our download sample we use this sample to find in our uh, distilled word model and then we just get get the training arguments and the trainer function here for the batch size of 64 we get the logging steps along with the model name and then we pass all the arguments we need here like the output dir uh, outright function and then a poaches learning rate weight decay push to hub so that i want to uh, push this model directly to the hugging face hub okay and all that data will be stored here okay because we have this kind of a uh, uh, folder that are already made here okay okay now this this is your trainer function this trainer function actually trains your data on the train and test samples and then data collector will help help them to actually know that where the mask uh, words are okay and the tokenizer will help to tokenize the text so that our model will un understand the data better okay and then we just 
uh, try to get the evaluate function so that to check the perplexity of the model before training okay so this whole trainer function will be get evaluated on the evaluation loss it will give us the 21.94 perplexity so this this is a very good per, uh, perplexity that we got and then we actually do the trainer dot train and when we do the trainer dot train it actually trains the model on our imdb data because above the perplexity that we got it it is the distill bird model own per perplexity without any pre training but now we are actually training and after that the perplexity we got it is the perplexity of the uh, imdb trained distill bird model okay so in that way you can just fine tune this whole distill bird model with the help of uh, python and uh, pytorch as well and in this way this whole things will gonna work okay this uh, whole task will take some amount of time and uh, very huge resources as well so i want you to like to apply uh, or to train or to fine tune these models on the cloud or very high end machines only because on the small machines these things will not gonna work as well okay okay so i hope you guys completely understand that how to you can like fine tune a, a large language model with the help of any kind of open source data sets as well so there there are like very simple simple steps that that you need to follow the steps are like that uh okay i just write it here that what exactly steps you need first is get the data set and then you need to uh if you are like using the technique so choose the technique for fine tuning as i use the mask modeling so you can also use the lora or q lora and many more as well okay so choose choose the technique and based on that technique prepare your supervised data supervised learning data and then you build the training arguments and trainer objects and train the model so these are the steps that you can use to fine tune any kind of uh, large language model okay it just basically depend on the technique of the fine tuning that you are actually want to apply okay that that's uh, all in this video and in our next video i will tell you about to fine tune more uh, large language models like uh, uh, hugging face because it has like a large number of uh, uh, open source large language models are there we can fine tune on the languages as well we can fine tune on the like specific task as well okay so in in our like further videos we try to fine tune these models with different different kind of techniques as well so in our next video i will fine tune with the lora and the q lora techniques oh okay, guys okay so we'll meet in our next video and if you want to know more you can check out my videos on youtube on prompt engineering data science machine learning financial modeling and along with the my blogs on uh, medium as well we'll meet in our next video thank you guys thank you so much